In every generation, there is a rider, a hunter who signs a contract with the demon lord, Mephisto, they have to do everything Mephisto asks. This person is called Ghost Rider. Long ago a Ghost Rider was ordered to retrieve a demonic contract in the city of San Venganza, this contract binds thousands of corrupted souls. Knowing that the contract is very strong and can trigger the destruction of the earth, the Ghost Rider betrays Mephisto and hides the contract from the demon lord. In 1986, a father and his son, Barton and Johnny Blaze, performed a motorbike stunt at a night market. They are both very good at controlling the bike. Barton realizes that his son Johnny is being reckless while performing because Johnny wants to show off in front of his girlfriend. Barton tells Johnny that whatever he does in life has consequences, if someone does something stupid then that person will suffer the consequences forever. Johnny sees his father's cough is getting worse, secretly he throws away his father's cigarettes. Johnny's girlfriend, Roxanne comes to take Johnny for a walk, Roxanne tells Johnny that his family will move far away. Johnny doesn't want to lose Roxanne, he asks Roxanne to run away with him tomorrow. Later that night, Johnny accidentally reads a doctor's letter stating that his father has terminal cancer and cannot be cured. Johnny is upset and sad, he can't bear to leave his father alone, but Johnny doesn't want to lose Roxanne either. While Johnny is fixing his motorbike, suddenly a mysterious old man comes to his workshop. The man knows that Johnny's father is seriously ill. He can cure his father's illness, but Johnny has to sign a contract to work with him. A young Johnny is curious and reads the contract but suddenly his finger is cut and blood drips on the contract. The strange man smiles. The next morning, Johnny is surprised to see his father looks healthy and fit. Barton tells Johnny to get ready because they will perform later, but Johnny tells his father that he won't be performing anymore because he's going to live with Roxanne. Barton is surprised to hear that but he can't do anything else because his son is already an adult. Barton then gives Johnny his favorite motorbike, Grace, Barton lets Johnny go and live the life he wants. When Johnny is entering the arena, he learns that Barton has had a fatal accident. Johnny rushes to see his father's condition, Johnny is shocked after seeing his dead father. Then Johnny sees the strange man from last night is there. Later, Johnny falls from his motorbike because he is startled by the strange man. The man touches Johnny's chest and tells Johnny to leave his loved ones behind because one day he will return to Johnny and assign him to do something since he has signed the contract. Johnny decides to leave Roxanne. 21 years later Johnny is a famous stunt motorcycle rider now. He bravely jumps over dozens of trucks, and when he is about to land his bike slips. His whole team panicked, but miraculously Johnny is fine. On the way home while resting, Johnny's team member named Mac tells Johnny that the accident that happened earlier is very fatal. He and the others are confused as to why Johnny still looks fine like something is protecting him. Elsewhere, a demon named Blackheart comes to Earth. He enters a bar, and after killing everyone in the bar Blackheart summons three fallen angels. Gressel, a fallen angel with earth-based power, Wallow, a fallen angel with water-based power, and Abigor, a fallen angel with wind-based power. Blackheart invites three of them to seize the contract of San Venganza which contains thousands of corrupted souls and use it to take over the world. Suddenly Mephisto comes to the bar, and it turns out that Blackheart is Mephisto's illegitimate child. Mephisto asks him why he is on Earth. Blackheart tells his father that he will take over his father's duty to rule the earth. Blackheart realizes that Mephisto can't do anything on earth. That's why Mephisto orders a ghost rider to do his job. The next day, in the stadium, Johnny is getting ready for his next stunt. Then he meets Roxanne, who is working as a reporter and comes to interview him. Johnny is surprised to see Roxanne, he can't focus while he is being interviewed. After the interview is over, Johnny is getting ready to perform. This time he will jump from one goal to another, he has to jump over six helicopter units to reach the other goal. This is a dangerous stunt. But Johnny does it with great confidence, he flies and jumps over the helicopters and makes a perfect landing. Johnny rides his motorbike out of the stadium, chasing Roxanne down the street. He apologizes since he left Roxanne years ago. Johnny invites Roxanne to dinner, Roxanne, who still likes Johnny, says yes to that, but on the condition, Johnny can't be late. That night Roxanne comes to the restaurant first and waits for Johnny who has not arrived yet. In his house, Johnny is getting ready to go see Roxanne, but suddenly his hands are burning red with smoke. He hears someone whispering his name. When Johnny comes out of his house, his motorbike is already there and starts by itself. Johnny is surprised to see Mephisto there, Mephisto tells him that the time has come. Mephisto gives Johnny his task, he has to kill Blackheart. If he succeeds, Mephisto will set Johnny free, so Johnny can live his life as a normal human. 
Suddenly Johnny's body moves by itself. He gets on his motorbike and heads towards a certain place at high speed, and his motorbike wheels catch fire since he is so fast. Inside the repair shop, Blackheart and his minions ask the worker there, where the grave was here earlier. The worker says that he doesn't know, then Blackheart freezes him to death. Meanwhile, Johnny manages to get into the repair shop, and suddenly flames come out of his body and transform him into Ghost Rider. Johnny confronts Blackheart, and Abigor comes and hangs Johnny in chains, but Johnny easily breaks the chains and uses them as a weapon. Gressel hits Johnny with a truck to stop him. When Gressel is about to leave, Johnny emerges from behind and beats Gressel. Johnny ties Gressel's body with chains and burns him to ashes. Johnny then summons his motorbike, and with one touch Johnny turns his motorbike into a flaming motorbike. On his way, Johnny sees a woman being robbed. Johnny approaches the robber and tells him to look into his eyes. After looking into Johnny's eyes, the robber feels all the pain he has caused others because of the crimes he has committed in the past. The robber dies. Johnny then drives to a cemetery, when he gets there Johnny's body returns to normal as the morning sun rises. Johnny passes out in front of his father's grave. Suddenly an old man called Caretaker comes to help him. Caretaker takes care of Johnny until he wakes up. After Johnny wakes up he intends to leave, but surprisingly Caretaker knows that Johnny has made a contract with Mephisto. Meanwhile, Roxanne is covering the incident at the repair shop last night. While tending to Johnny's wounds, the Caretaker tells Johnny that the Ghost Rider's powers will disappear when they're exposed to sunlight. Johnny asks him, how come he knows all of this? The Caretaker tells him that a long time ago, there was a Ghost Rider named Carter Slade. Carter was assigned by Mephisto to retrieve the contract of San Venganza. Johnny tells the caretaker if Blackheart is looking for the contract, that's why Mephisto wants him to stop Blackheart. After his wound is treated Johnny says goodbye to the caretaker. Johnny drives to the last night's crime scene, there, he sees a woman being interviewed by Roxanne, she says last night a strange creature with a skull head saved her life. After the interview ends, Johnny tries to apologize to Roxanne, but an annoyed Roxanne ignores him. At the crime scene, an officer finds the license plate of Johnny's motorbike that fell last night. That night after taking a shower, Johnny sees his face in the mirror, is it true that his head turned into a skull? After making sure he's okay, Johnny reads a book that says humans can control their bodies when they're possessed by the fire element. Johnny tries to control the Ghost Rider's power and succeeds, fire comes out of his hands. But suddenly Roxanne comes to see Johnny, Roxanne apologizes for his behavior this afternoon. In that room, Roxanne sees her old photo with Johnny. Roxanne tells him if she still has feelings for Johnny. But this time Johnny tells Roxanne that they can't be together. Roxanne is confused by Johnny's attitude. Roxanne tells Johnny to be honest with him, maybe she can help. Johnny tells Roxanne that he has a contract with the devil, his body turns into a flaming skull, which is why Johnny is afraid that Roxanne will get hurt if she is by his side. Hearing this, Roxanne is confused and thinks that Johnny has gone mad, then she leaves. Suddenly several police cars arrive to arrest Johnny, inside the police station Johnny is interrogated by police officers. They accuse Johnny of killing a railroad repairman. Johnny tells them that he didn't do it, but they don't believe him and throw him into prison. In the prison, some criminals are trying to beat Johnny, since Johnny is a famous stunt rider. Suddenly Johnny's body turned into a ghost rider. Johnny beats up one of the criminals and steals his jacket. Johnny leaves one person there because that person does nothing to him. Johnny tries to escape, but an officer tries to stop him, but Johnny doesn't fight back because he is a good man. Johnny rides his motorbike. Inside a church, Blackheart talks to a priest. Blackheart asks where the contract is hidden, but the priest refuses to tell him. On the streets, Johnny avoids the police by throwing himself into the river. Johnny and his motorbike then drift across the river. Knowing Johnny is heading their way, Blackheart tells Abigor to stop him. Abigor distracts Johnny, Johnny chases Abigor up to the top of the building. Roxanne sees everything from afar. Below them, Roxanne comes to check on them, on top of the building Johnny tries to defeat Abigor, but he can't do it since Abigor is made from the wind. Johnny then burns the chains and twirls them until it creates a vortex of fire and burns Abigor's body with it. Roxanne is surprised because Johnny is telling the truth earlier. 
but Johnny has to leave because the policemen are shooting at him. In the afternoon, Johnny goes to the cemetery to meet Caretaker. Johnny asks him when this will end. Caretaker tells him that everything will be over if Johnny completes his task. Caretaker takes Johnny to see the grave of Carter Slade, the previous rider. He was a Texas Ranger. One day he made a mistake and he would be hanged because of that. But a stranger came before him and offered him the contract, Carter said yes and eventually became the ghost rider. Previously, Carter was assigned by Mephisto to retrieve the contact of San Venganza to collect all the corrupted souls. Then Carter realized that the contract was dangerous. Carter decided to run away and hid the contract from the demons. Some say that Carter took and kept the contract to the grave. Caretaker tells Johnny that Blackheart will do anything to get what he wants, including endangering people close to Johnny. Johnny is worried about Roxanne, so he quickly leaves. Meanwhile, a worried Roxanne is looking for Johnny at his house, but there is only Mac there. Mac tells Roxanne that he's worried too because Johnny's been reading weird books about demons lately. That night, Caretaker is visited by Blackheart and Wallow. Blackheart asks where the contract is hidden. But Caretaker replied that he doesn't know, Blackheart beats Caretaker but Caretaker still refuses to tell him. Johnny comes looking for Roxanne to her office, but Roxanne's co-workers say that Roxanne is currently looking for Johnny. Elsewhere Roxanne is checking Johnny's books when suddenly Blackhearts come and kill Mac from behind. Johnny arrives and sees a frozen Roxanne, Blackheart and Johnny are fighting. Johnny intends to use his penance stare on Blackheart, but he can't do it since Blackheart has no soul. Blackheart defeats Johnny. Blackheart tells Johnny to give him the San Venganza contract in exchange for Roxanne's life. That night Johnny goes to the graveyard to meet Caretaker. Johnny is determined to end everything. He asks Caretaker to help him. It's revealed that the San Venganza contract is hidden inside a spade. Caretaker has an idea to stop Blackheart. He hands over the contract and tells Johnny to get ready, it turns out that Caretaker is the previous ghost rider, Carter Slade, who is still alive today. I got one last ride left in me. Carter summons his horse, and they both transform and head toward the city of San Venganza to meet Blackheart who is waiting there. After arriving at the city gate, Carter gives Johnny a gun. Carter says this will be the last time he transforms into a ghost rider, he is saving it for this moment. Carter wishes what he does this time will atone for his sins in the past. Having finally shaken off the curse, Carter fades into dust as he rides away. While Johnny is driving, Wallow appears from below and pulls him into the water. Johnny transforms into Ghost Rider and burns Wallow. After defeating Wallow, Johnny drives to the city center of San Venganza. Johnny meets with Blackheart and Roxanne. Blackheart tells Johnny not to transform into his Ghost Rider form or he will kill Roxanne. They make an exchange. Blackheart frees Roxette. But when Johnny is about to hand over the contract, he transforms and attacks Blackheart. They fight with each other. Johnny throws fire at Blackheart, but the sun starts rising. Blackheart manages to corner Johnny and make him return to his human form. Johnny tries to grab the gun in front of him, but Blackheart manages to seize the San Venganza contract and attract thousands of corrupted souls to enter his body. After absorbing all those souls, Blackheart transforms into Legion. Johnny manages to grab the gun, he shoots at Legion several times. He wants to make Legion mad, Johnny lures Legion into a ruined building. When Legion is about to attack him, Roxanne helps him from behind by shooting Legion right in his head. But it turns out that Legion can heal himself. Roxanne hands the gun to Johnny, Johnny changes his gun into a demon gun and shoots Legion to pieces. But with the help of the corrupted souls, the Legion is still alive. Johnny hides in the shadows to enhance his power. He uses the penance stare at Legion and succeeds because inside Legion's body there are thousands of corrupted souls. He feels all the pain caused by those corrupted souls. Finally, Blackheart is defeated. Mephisto suddenly arrives to revoke the contract and take back the Ghost Rider's power. But Johnny refuses it, he doesn't want Mephisto to use other innocent people for his personal gain. Johnny vows to use the Ghost Rider's powers to fight Mephisto and avenge his father's death. An angry Mephisto leaves Johnny. Then Johnny says goodbye to Roxanne because he doesn't want Roxanne to be in danger again. Johnny rides away, he will continue his journey as a ghost rider. <laughs>